právě přijíždíme na místo Čimu. Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Tady venku je opravdu velká zima. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Raději pojďme dovnitř. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. No, tak to by pro začátek mohlo stačit. Pustíme se do vyšetřování. Proklepu naše kolegy. Hey Garrett. Hey Frank. How's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm, tak tady máme stůl, kde seděl ten podezřelý. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. So, what do you have? A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Vrach se po vraždě vrátil zpátky na sedačku a dělal že nic, ale proč? Je tu telefon. Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Hmm. Pokud od tu tevrach volal, určitě zjistíme komu. Možná by nebylo od věci si nalít trochu kafe. Did you find anything, Tyler? 
of that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. Ale jukebox, mohl bych pustit muziku, ale to by se šéfce asi nelíbilo. Hey Martin, you know where I can find some coffee? The machines behind the bar just go help yourself. Martin, you are the man. Jediná důležitá informace, kde je kafe? Tak rychle pro něj. My partner's gonna take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Fine. A teď si můžeme začít aspoň, aspoň trochu něco vyšetřovat. Pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Gary. My lips are chapped. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon, now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Yeah, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Martin says this was the guy's table. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. It's me. Did you already fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Je nejvyšší čas podívat se na místo činu. To bude tady na toaletách. Dobře, tak se pustíme do práce. Several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Dost ošklivá brutální vražda. Kdo to jenom moh udělat? Takový zvěrstvo. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? To je zvláštní, proč, proč se vrah snažil tu krev ze země utřít. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. A stále tu ale chybí vražedná zbraň. 
kde jenom může být. Je tu krev. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Anyaka Shkwira. A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the murder weapon. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Trefa, máme vražednou zbraň. Man, stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Myslím si, že už to tady máme zajištěné všechno. Můžeme, můžeme odejít. Tak a teď ještě vyslechnout tu servírku. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. That book under the table, it must have been his. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. 
He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Takže vrah se choval krátce před vraždou zvláštně. A zdá se, že s ním musel někdo být. Ale kdo si mohl objednat tu kávu? Podívám se zadními dveřmi ven. Ještě obejdu, obejdu restauraci a porozhlednu se tu. Dává nějaký pobuda. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> What can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have him come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone! I'm just fine. I don't need nobody. Okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Yeah. Or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Ah, oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Huh? Who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Jsou to jen pomatené opilecké bláboli, nebo opravdu něco viděl? Celkem zvláštní. Tamhle je stanice metra. Možná, že vrah odjel právě tam tudy. Hleme se, stanoviště taxíků. A taxi? The murderer might have come or gone in a taxi. I'm gonna check on the destinations of taxis leaving this area. Jestliže vrah odjel tudy, nemělo by být těžké to zjistit. Pak tu je na zemi. To vypadá jako krev. Takže vrah opravdu krvácel. Hey Garrett, Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. Hmm, Carla už je venku, tak se taky půjdu podívat ven. Ale 
nějaký fumrák, třeba něco ví, je tu oheň a trošku se ohřeju. Yo, what do you want? I was wondering, you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> Right, thank you. You've been helpful. Ten teda ochotou vrouna nepřekypuje. Dá se tu vůbec najít ještě něco, kromě děsný zimy. Nejvyšší čas vrátit se za parťačkou a zmizet. Doufám, že nebude proti. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. <laughs> 